Hello, welcome everybody to the next video on this series of basic chemical pathology practice question series part two. And I still remain Dr. Ia Zibasi, and I'm so happy to be with you. Part two will cover um, water balance. It's going to cover also dehydration as well as intoxication. Um, please, like I always say, before we start, try to like, try to subscribe, try also to comment and share with other people who may need this resource so that do all this to help us to keep our channel alive. All right. So question one, where is the largest percentage of total body water found in humans? We have the intracellular fluid, extracellular fluid, plasma and transcellular fluid. The extracellular fluid is the largest um, compartment. All right. Question two, which of the following constitutes the major extracellular fluid compartment in the body? All right, we have the intracellular and extracellular. For the extracellular, the major compartment will be the interstitial fluid. Question three, where is the cerebrospinal fluid primarily located in the body? Actually, it is located in a compartment called the transcellular fluid. These are a group of fluids that don't easily exchange their water with other compartments, um, including, I think, the bone, vitreous humor, aqueous humor, uh, peritoneal fluid, pericardial fluid, all those fleets that don't easily mix. I know you are fleet. All right. So question number four, which water compartment primarily comprises of the fluid that covers the cell? The fluid that covers the cell is called the interstitial fluid. All right. Question number five. Where is the peritoneal, pleural, pericardial, synovial, and aqueous humor primarily found in the body? I have just given you the answer to that. So can we go? Yes. So if you say transcellular, you are right. Question number six, what is the primary organ responsible for regulating water balance in the body? The major organ responsible would be the kidneys. Question number seven, in response to dehydration, what hormone is released to conserve water by decreasing urine up insulin? No, that is control of glucagon no control of glucose aldosterone no that's for control of sodium antidiuretic hormone yes all right question number eight which of the following organs plays a role in water balance by regulating test perception test perception you have the liver the kidneys the hypothalamus and the pancreas can anybody try if you have watched the video you should be able to answer this answer is the hypothalamus the sensory the test centers in the hypothalamus okay so question number nine what is the term for the condition in which water intake exceeds water loss, resulting in an increase in total body water? I'm sure everybody knows this. It's called hyperhydration or water intoxication or overhydration, as the case may be. Question number 10. Which of the following electrolytes plays a crucial role in maintaining water balance by influencing osmotic gradients? You should know that it is sodium. All right, question number 11. Which of the following situations the body typically conserve water to maintain water balance? The case where you're losing water, to try to conserve, the body will try to conserve water to maintain water balance. And I think the only situation I'm seeing here is sweating profusely. Question number 12. Which condition occurs when there is an imbalance between water intake and output, leading to decreased total body water. If you wake me up from sleep, I should be able to answer it. It is dehydration, all right? So question number 13, what is the term for a state of low blood sodium concentration due to excess water intake? It's called hyponatremia. Hyponatremia means low levels of sodium below the lower limit of normal. 
all right? So when you have excess water intake, your sodium levels will increase. That is called dilutional hyponatremia, okay? So question number 14, which of the following hormones is released by the adrenal glands to promote sodium retention and water conservation? Insulin, no, it's done by the pancreas, glucagon by the pancreas, aldosterone is one of the hormones secreted by the adrenal glands whose work is to promote sodium retention. Tyroxine is from the thyroid gland, so our answer remains aldosterone. Question number 15, what is the term for the process of removing excess water from the body through the formation of dilute urine? That will be what? If you say diuresis, you are right. Osmosis is something else. All right? Filtration is not it. Reabsorption is not it. Question number 16. Which of the following is a common symptom of dehydration? The first thing you are going to have will be a dry mouth. You feel thirsty. Question number 17. What is the term for the condition characterized by an excessive loss of water and electrolytes from the body? Dehydration. Question number 18. Which of the following organs is primarily responsible for sensing changes in blood osmolality? Need osmoreceptors for that and initiating appropriate responses to maintain water balance. That will be the brain hypothalamus. Okay, question number 19 Which of the following hormones is released by the posterior pituitary gland to increase water reabsorption in the kidneys? A insulin, B glucagon, C aldosterone, and D antidiuretic hormone. Let me see you make a guess. Yay! If you said ADH, you are correct. Okay, question number 20. What is the term for the process by which water moves across a semi-permeable membrane from an area of lower solute concentration to an area of higher solute concentration? We have diffusion, active transport, osmosis, and filtration. What is your answer? Same as mine, osmosis. All right, question number 21. Which of the following mechanisms increases water excretion in response to high blood pressure or volume? You have vasodilation, no, aldosterone, mm, that's for sodium. Antidiuretic hormone, that is directly for water. Atrial neoteratic peptide will be that it is situated, um, with, uh, oh, that's secreted by the heart. Okay, the pericardium of the heart. So that will be it. Question number 22. Which of the following mechanisms plays a role in regulating water balance by controlling thirst perception? Thirst centers uh, need osmo receptors to pick up that uh, particular perception before sending it to the drain. So that will be our answer. Question number 23, what is the primary function of the renin and the utensil aldosterone system in maintaining water balance? Okay, it's a complex system and what it does is to increase water reabsorption in the kidneys, okay? Question number 24, what of the following which of the following hormones is released in response to decreased blood volume or pressure leading to increased water reabsorption and vasoconstriction? We are talking about a hormone, okay? That will be ready. So, question number 25. Which, what is the primary function of the juxta glomerular apparatus in the kidneys. A, regulation of glomerular filtration rate. B, regulation of urine concentration. C, secretion of aldosterone. D, reabsorption of water. And your answer is regulation of glomerular filtration rate. Okay, 26, what role does angiotensin II play in the regulation of Water balance, if you remember, angiotensin 2 is um, found in the renin angiotensin aldosterone cascade. Okay, what it does is to cause vasoconstriction, which then leads to increased blood pressure. 
all right amongst other things that it does it also stimulates um, the production or the secretion of aldosterone to promote reabsorption of sodium and therefore water indirectly okay so question number 27 which of the following mechanisms is activated in response to low blood pressure leading to increased sodium reabsorption and water retention that will be the renin angiotensin aldosterone system okay 28. What is the primary function of the osmoreceptors in the hypothalamus in maintaining water balance? All right. That will be control of test perception. Question number 29. Which of the following conditions stimulates the release of atrial nitrogenic peptide to promote water excretion and vasodilation? That will be hypertension. Anytime you have a high blood pressure, you know, that particular peptide is secreted to help promote water excretion and vasodilation. I want to say thank you so much. Oh, I have question 30. But before I reach there, I hope you have subscribed, you've liked, you've shared, you've commented. If not, or read everything you have watched <laughs> or, or watch everything you have looked at. All right. So question 30. Dehydration occurs when there's a significant loss of water that is just to remind us once again all right so thank you for listening and bye bye and god bless you